up, my little Carcamaniacs, and welcome back to Carcamo Gaming with your host, Carcamo the Forger of Pain! That's right, I'm back with another Mail Monday, and this video is super overdue. I'm sorry for that saliva. Now, you might be wondering, why is this video overdue, Karkimu? It's because I have this Karkimaniac from Germany called Rutana. And she's been hooking me up with my amiibo drug. And she's been doing this for months. And I didn't have the time to do this video. And this is the least I can do to tell her thank you. So, I've been saving these boxes and I haven't even opened the Amiibos because I was waiting for a moment like this. And first of all, I want to thank you, Rutana, for doing this. You didn't have to, but you did anyway. And really, from the bottom of my sick, perverted heart, thank you. So, let's get right to it. Now, the first box she sent me, I don't remember which wave is it. It's been a while. I think it was four, five, six. I don't know who's counting anyway nowadays. She got me, we have here, Zero Suit Samus, Old Fart Ganondorf, Dark Pit. Uh, we got Politina right there. You can barely see my face. Dr. Mario. Mario. And we have Bowser Jr., which in the canning of Nintendo, he's the only legitimate son of Bowser. So we have this wave, and let me tell you something, this is not it. She also sent me something a little special. Actually, it's really special. Uh, I remember that I was, uh, I don't know if it was in Amiibros, uh, Hi Cat, um, the, administrator, the administrator of the Amiibros, a Facebook group, join. So, what was I saying? Yes, I don't remember if it was there or it was in another, uh, like, Amiibo gaming Facebook page or something. But anyway, um, there was this, like, you remember Game & Watch? So, there was this thing, little tiny, uh, I like keychains, Game & Watch thingies. And I said, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I need one of those. Or something. It was, you know, it was just a comment. So, she got me these. Mini Classics, Mario's Cement Factory, and we have Donkey Kong Jr. So, I don't know, man. They're so cool. Even like the package, I don't want to know if I want to open these up. But, uh, what the hell, man. Thank you, Rutana, and let's open them. Right away. Ah! <laughs> Just occurred to me, I could have done it this way? Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Yes, that's why this thing is marked like that, so you don't screw it up. Eh, it's not that bad. They didn't actually destroy it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it says pull. Okay. Oh, it's actually working, oh my god. It's a working game on watch, I can't believe it. Oh my god, this is so awesome! This is also a great chance to talk about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while now. And it's the packaging according to regions. And I must say that, you know, my favorite is the European region because there's something that's it should be pretty obvious for collectors. As you can see, the amiibo here, it has a number. So this is, example, Paulatina is number 38. 
so you can, you know, keep track of that. And here we have the Western, I guess, release for, you know, North America and Latin America and, you know, the works. And as you can see, it's a tiny difference, but nah, man, it's a big difference. I like that the European version has the numbers. And also we have here the Japanese release, and it also doesn't have the number. And uh, it also looks cool. It has like the Japanese letters and stuff, which is, you know, always neat. But my favorite one, and I think Nintendo should do the same for every region, it's the European version. So, I don't know, Nintendo. Nah, I think it's too late, you're not gonna do anything, but it will be cool. Next up, we have this one right here. And uh, the first thing is that I have a letter from Rutana, and let's read it out loud for all you Carcomaniacs. It says, <clears throat> Hey, Carcomo. Sorry for the big delay, but here they are, your newest European Amiibos. As you can see, there's no gift inside this time. It's okay, Rutana. Trust me, you've done enough. Uh, I had some things in mind that I wanted to send you, but for a specific reason, couldn't just yet. I am a bad reader. Maybe it's ready in time for the next package. Until then, Enjoy your amiibos. Greetings from Germany, Rutana. And uh, greetings from Panama. Oh, and sorry about that. That was like, you know, uh, my woman's impression. As I was saying, I don't know which wave is this. I lost count. But here we have the Inkling Girl. And what is the Inkling Girl without the Inkling Boy? Nothing, I guess, because she's not an independent woman. Please don't kill me, feminist. The me brawler. Shit. The me gunner. Another neat little thing is that um, the three pack, we got it in Panama, but it was, well, the three pack, the whole thing. And here we have the, you know, for the sickies, collectors like me that likes to have like every single version, we have the three pack. It's, you know, individually. So we have here. Duck Hunt. And I was talking about the three pack and here we have Mr. Game and Watch. Here we have Johnny Five. I mean Rob the Robot. Another me, the me Sword Fighter. And last but not least, we have the retro 8-bit Mario. There you have it, kids. Amiibos up the ass. Courtesy of Rutana from Germany. And here's a good comparison of the Western package from the Japanese package. As you can see, yeah, this is a little banged up, but you know, the mail, what can you do? But like I said, the letters are pretty cool. Mewtwo, man. You wanna open the Mewtwo? Yay, welcome to the collection, Mewtwo. Where the Pokemons? Dude, and I forgot, she also got me all and more from the Pikmin series. But it was like in the bottom of the box and I didn't see it, so <laughs> here it is. Now give me a second, guys, because this is the big one. I get it. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. I got it. And uh, let's open this bad boy right away. Let's see. We have a big letter from Rutana. Let's read it, shall we? <clears throat> Hi, Karkimo. Here they are, the next amiibo. I hope they arrive safely and undamaged. I went out of wrapping so they had a bit more room to move around as I like. But they still seem safe enough. I'm sure they are, Rutana. I, this is the first time I'm opening this, so... I hope you like my little gift I added. Oh my god, she's so fucking cute! I wanted to wait for your arcade block unboxings before sending it to you. But it seems you're too busy to them right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna post more arcade block unboxing this year, I promise. So I took the risk. As you might have guessed, I've got the plushie from an arcade block. It's a variant though, so I hope you got the other version. I'm not a Mortal Kombat fan, so I have an idea what it is. At least, not to the extent. So I think it has a better... It has a better stay at your place 
If you got it, double now. Feel free and put it in one of your Karka blocks one day. Let's see. All right, let me know if the package arrives safely. Have a great day, Rutana. Okay, let's see. I want to see it, man. I'm excited. The plushie Rutana was referring was this one, Zub Zero, from the arcade block. And I could have gotten the same one. But Rutana, you took a risk and it paid off because I got Scorpio. And that means, thanks to you, now I own both. And yes, as you can see, here in Karkimo Gaming, we don't give a damn about continuity. Goodbye. I mean, let's move on. Speaking about Rutana, she has opened a new YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe to her. It's mainly for now, subscription boxes like, you know, nerd blog and stuff like that about the good gaming and geeky stuff. So go ahead and show some love to her because she's pretty awesome and she deserves it. Ah! Well, she was right, a lot of pink shrink wrap. Oh my god. I can't believe it. We still don't have this in Panama. The Mega Yarn Yoche. Oh my god. <laughs> now this is so freaking kawaii. I got Mewtwo, and damn it, I just opened a Mewtwo because uh, I was sealed and I wanted to put it in the collection, and this was the perfect opportunity to show the three different regions, you know, like the Japanese, the Western, and the European, but yeah, well, maybe for another time. 8-bit Mario with the modern color scheme. <laughs> Oh, sorry, but I'm excited because I got the Animal Crossing 3-pack and also the other Animal Crossing Amiibos. And I want to take this opportunity to say hi to Kelly McMahon, a super carcomanic fan of Animal Freaking Crossing. Digby, Mabel, Lottie, and Isabel. Ah! Here we have Tom Nook. I'm gonna put Lottie right here. Here we have Falco. And just when I thought that was it, guess what? Here are the two Animal Crossing albums that we didn't get in Panama. And, you know, we got there for the series one and two. Ah, oh, there you go. Woo! So many amiibos that I'm breaking a sweat here. <laughs> In this video and I want to give a special thanks specially super ultra special specially super califatistical body that little bit special to Rutana for sending me this and I know you didn't have to especially these mm, Animal Crossing albums because I have a lot of cards and I have nowhere to put them in <laughs> until now and hey if you want to send me something here's the address you don't have to send me anything, but well, if you wanna, uh, why the hell not? And you can send me whatever you want, except please don't send me a letter with anthrax or something like that, but it's because that wouldn't be cool. As always, leave your comments, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, because that helps me a lot. Guys, this is Karakamo Gaming. Like or die. This was supposed to be a thumbs down, but you know, it came weird. Like or die.